Making everyone happy on vacation isn't easy. But you know what is? Going to Aruba. All you have to do is walk out your door to find pristine pools, relaxing white sand beaches, and an island teeming with outdoor activities that'll put a smile on any face. You won't just feel great, you'll all feel great, filled with a calmer, more peaceful vibe that radiates Aruba's warmth. And the best part is, it never fades. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your family trip at aruba.com. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. Happy three-year anniversary to The Public Affair, which is technically this week, but as you know, as you guys are watching the show, it's been a lot longer than that, okay? So I definitely want you to stop being me. Thank you guys again so much for all the love and support that you continue to show the show. Of course, the Rogue Media Network, Mike Hamilton, Allison Robles, we got Mason over here producing this episode of The Public Affair, and I'm so grateful to you guys guys in this team so thank you guys again so much for all you do for me truly appreciate it now as you can see i'm a little bit lit because me and my guest we went out and we got just a tad <laughs> we did we got a tad lit before the show i need to make him loosey-goosey all right now before i introduce him and we get on to the episode i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to us by david santabanez with a linear real estate he is the number one sales agent in his office to help you buy a home or sell your property make sure you follow him on facebook at david with Alinea. i just call the number on the screen listen don't wait to buy your brand new house and if you don't know what you're doing call Call up my boy, David with Alinea. He's going to walk you through the entire process. He's the number one sales agent for a reason. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair, bro. I truly appreciate you. Of course, to Arturo's framework, Arturo Lleva de la Cruz. They do wood framing for houses and all remodeling. That's right. All oh, You want your shower to be a walk-in shower so you and the side piece can go in there? Arturo's frame got you. They also assist with building a brand new home from the ground up because, you know, sometimes you don't want to move in somebody's old nasty house. You want your own house with its own amenities. Arturo's frame is going to help you with that. Hablan inglés y español también. Call the number on the screen for a free in-town consultation and follow on Facebook at Arturo's Frame. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to JB Auto Detailing with Joseph Blancas, who provides mobile detailing for all of Waco and the surrounding area, promising 100% satisfaction guarantee, leaving your vehicle looking brand new and fresh. You leave the stains in there. He got you. Believe me, he's gotten the stains out of my car once or twice, all right? Pricing and such at JB. I'm talking about those stains, yeah. <laughs> those kind of things. Pricing and such at jbautodetail.net. Call the number on the screen to book and follow on Facebook at JB Auto Detailing. Thank you, Joseph, so much for all your support and sponsorship of The Public Affair. Oh, this is one of our friends, of course, to our friend Julian Anabando with Bandas Hauling Service. They run dump trailers. You fill it up and they haul it away, darling. That's right. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of, out of town. My guest, Orlando. Orlando, he's reliable. 100%. Hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. Awesome Hell of a guy. guy. Amazing guy. You tell, Amazing he tells guy. you he's going to be there in 20 minutes. He's there in 10 minutes. All right? Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's now, there. He's, he's going to be he's there. there. Absolutely. Book now with the number on the screen to Bandas Hauling Service. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, I can't go on without thanking Elite Barber Shop with my boy Sid Rodriguez has got me looking super snackish for my guest on this episode of The Public Affair located on Hewitt Drive. You can call them on the screen to book or download the Squire app. That's right, darling. Listen, walk-ins are welcome as well. They got Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Clint Fetcher, and Isai Reyes over there making you look as snackish as I have for more than 159 episodes of The Public Affair. Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm getting old. That's it. Thank you so much for all you do for me in The Public Affair, bro. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, guys. So like I said, I have been excited. Okay, okay, so here's what happened, right? Here, let me take a sip before I do this, right? <laughs> this nigga he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna message me two years ago it was in 2021 yes because i saw the date and he was like i will pay you to be on your show i should have took him up on his offer because i'm a broke bitch now right and I, now it makes me wonder how much i can really like start charging people to come on to the public affair no but you know what timing was perfect and everything because we just met for some drinks beforehand so we can get him nice and loosey-goosey and he said if you would have invited me two years ago like i asked i would not have been in the right mindset now he is he's here to tell us That's his story and he he's here fun lucid and i'm so excited to just dive right into it not him it <laughs> I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so excited to welcome mr orlando salas the owner of salas construction and roofing llc from mcgregor texas here on the public affair how you doing i'm doing good how you doing i'm you know what orlando, i'm doing great i'm so happy that we met for drinks oh, absolutely, absolutely because yeah. because i feel like it just really just like help us set in stone how this episode and the direction was gonna take. absolutely i'm not uh i can't turn down some drinks and yeah, i'm yeah, glad for he sure. did that you like turning up too are you a turn up kind of guy I'm an, I love turning up. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. I mean, uh, it's just I need to tone it down a little bit. You know no, what I mean? yeah, but absolutely. But I'm yeah. glad we turned up before this, we did. which is awesome. Yeah, and, I'm all, uh, I'm I appreciate about, you inviting me for them drinks. I am so happy. No, I think well, did I invite you? Yes, you did. Yes, because I was at my home. <laughs> yes, I was at home in my underwear <laughs> playing PS5, and I was like, well, I guess I'll take this nigga out for drinks. He sounds nervous. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was awesome though, man. Um, yeah, 
But yeah, uh, Julian, I just want to man, hell of a guy. Oh, yeah. Awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Reliable. Anybody needs anything. Dumpsters, materials, hauling. That's Bondas, the guy, though. Bondas Hauling Service. Absolutely. I say it. They've sponsored this show for almost three years already. Love those people. Awesome people. And then one more you. thing. One more thing. Oh, my yeah, little yeah, yeah. sister, man. Uh, my little sister graduates on August 2nd. She just finished her nursing school, man. And oh. I just, I love you, sis. I'm I, Whatever you need, I got you. I just wanted to throw that out there. Is man. she the plug if we need some, like, I need some muscle relaxers right now because I just hurt myself working out. Absolutely. I need to tell her, yeah. I, or else I'm not putting out this episode. <laughs> tell her I need some fucking Tylenol codeine, bitch. Or else I'm not, or else I'm not fucking, I will hold this episode hostage. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Listen, Absolutely. Orlando, I'm so grateful that you're here on the show. Like I said, uh, you, you did slide in my DMs two years ago. And, you know, you, I, I, with all due respect, I, I interpreted you as one of those guys. You know what I mean? Because usually when somebody is willing to pay me to come on the show, that means they're just on some bullshit. For the record, I've never taken any money for anybody <laughs> to be on this show. I have never exchanged money. Nobody's ever paid me. So people might have fucked me to be on the show, yes. But, but other than that, it, it wasn't Orlando. Yeah, I wish it was, but it wasn't. I gave him two years to get with this, and he didn't. No, no, but uh, talk about that, because man, you, uh, you weren't in the right mindset back in the day. Absolutely, man. Uh, I'm glad you didn't accept me on that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When somebody's willing to throw money at you, you know yeah. what I mean? Without even an expiration or something. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to, yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just trying to be on the show and everything. And then, um, man, I, I was not in the right mindset. I mean, mm -hmm. during that time, I just started my company. You know what I mean? Right. I was, man, I was ripping my hair out. I was struggling wow. during that time, man. Yeah. I was trying to get these jobs done. I was trying to get my name out. And okay. I wasn't in the right place of mind at all. Do you think it was a desperation ploy to be like, listen, I just got to get on some type of platform to... To, for exposure, do you know what I mean? And I say that yeah, very absolutely, humbly. Because, absolutely. You know, listen, my I'm not fucking birthing stars here. Nah, you know, I, I mean, like I, like I've had plenty <laughs> of musicians on there. They're not getting their next big hit because they're on the public affair. But you know, it's not like you know. And I, I do want to get onto it later on in the show that you were venturing out on your own and you were doing any and everything that you can to just put your name out there. Does absolutely. that sound like it's fair? Absolutely. No, that's exactly yeah. what happened. You know what I mean? And I was like, hey, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get on the show. I'm going to wear a right. company hat. I was going to come in with the whole uniform, yeah, man. Yeah. But now I mean, you're just regular. Exactly. Now yeah. I'm, just, I'm just me. I'm you're just, just me. You. you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not trying to promote nothing. Yeah. I'm just here as myself. Or and, that, silence. and that's what I say. Timing is everything. I knew that I I knew that wasn't the right time to invite you. That's I awesome, knew that it man. wasn't I'll the right time. I applaud you for that, man. I, yeah, I really for sure. I have a niche for this. This sheesh. is what I do. This is my <laughs> profession. Now, I should have took advantage of you. I should have said, what are you willing to do? I wouldn't have blamed you. I wouldn't have blamed you. Yes, I should have said, what are you willing to do to come on this show? And, you know, I should have, but I didn't because I have I have morals contrary to what people think. Okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Listen, Orlando, tell me about your tell well, first of all, introduce yourself to us because you are from McGregor. You're not originally from Texas. You barely moved to Waco a year ago. So a lot of people are probably like, Andrew, who the fuck is this guy? I mean, I mean, ladies. <laughs> gay, the, I'm, and you know the gays are gonna be in your DMs after this, right? Yes, they are. Uh, the gays <laughs> are gonna be in your DMs after this. And, tell, and don't get mad at me, please. No, I'm not getting mad. And if it's I find out I mean. you fucked one of them before me, I'm gonna be so pissed off at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be because they talk. But anyway, no. Tell us a little bit, uh, honestly, on, on a serious note. Tell us a little bit about who you are, life growing up for you. Who are Lando Salas's, please? All right. Um. So I moved to I moved to Texas, man. I was about six. Yeah. And the reason why we moved to Texas is because uh, I mean, my parents wanted to get. We're from Belle Glade, Florida. Okay. If if you research Belle Glade, uh, Belle yeah. Glade, Florida, there's a lot of stuff in there, man. Where is that? Like it's uh, it's it's literally it's by Palm Beach County. It's it's in Florida, so it's down oh, there. You know it's like I mean? in the south. It I is, lived in Hialeah for a few months. That's why I asked. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So I'm from Belgrade, man, and mm -hmm. it, it was it was it was ghetto, man. It really. Was a lot of drugs, a lot okay. of gang activity, and man, I remember just coming home one day, and my parents were like, "Hey, we're moving. Mm. I mean, we're moving." Mm -hmm. We hopped in the van and we came to Texas. You just came to Texas. It was literally like that. I didn't even say goodbye to nobody. Right. It was just so instant, man. And yeah. My parents told me why, and then I understood. I was like, "Yeah, let's go." Yeah. What was going on with them? Were they were, were they kind of like involved in things like that? Oh no, they weren't. Um, okay. Uh, my or, older brothers, you know what I mean. I love my older brothers. No, Shout yeah. out to them. But um, I mean, they, there's just a lot of gang activity, and it's hard oh, not sure. to get drug into that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what my mom seen that was happening, and then um, yeah. she was like, hey, "Man, we, we got to move. We got to leave. Yeah. We got to leave." So. Just one day out of water out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? I just come mm -hmm. home. She's like, get in the van, we're leaving. Everything right. was packed up and here we are. We came to take How so okay, so how many of you are there? There's eight of us in total. Damn, your parents were busy. <laughs> I mean Your parents were so busy. How the <laughs> fuck did you grow up in a house with eight kids? It, it, it was hard, don't get me yeah. wrong. It, it was you, hard. You guys were like living in poverty for the most oh, part absolutely, too, weren't you? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um so uh so whenever we came to Texas, we lived with my mom's sister. We we, we lived there for a couple years, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, Eventually, they got their own place, and then um, during that time, it's not that my dad was a bum. You know, he's right. far from that. He works
It's just man, shout out working, to the dad. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to <laughs> working, the dad. Working forty hours a week Good and having him. eight kids to raise, you know, what I mean, it's a little difficult. That's yeah. That's and tough. then uh, on top of that, we're living in a two bedroom, a two bedroom house. Oh my god. So man, uh, I grew up sleeping on the couch for the longest. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. You know what I mean? And eventually, I got older. Of course, I finally got my own room. But yeah, I didn't get my own room till I was like 17, 18 maybe. No, I, 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 I feel you because I didn't get my. I shared a room with my twin brother. We do not exactly. have a relationship. And um, he got sent to Job Corps and ran away and shit like that. So I didn't get my phone room till I was seventeen. Then I left. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I ended up getting did. my own house but, or apartment. But no, no. Okay, so what was it hard for your? Did you realize back in the day how hard it was for your parents to be like, or were you just? Did you relish any anger because you didn't understand, or how did that all work for you? Man, as as crazy as it sounds, man, living those times living in poverty. Mm -hmm. I think those were the best years of my life. Really? As, as crazy as it sounds like, okay. man, because, man, because family, man, family really becomes family whenever mm. they're living in struggle. And then, you know what I mean? We used to sleep with no electricity. We used to, wow. we used to have a cooler with ice, with food in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. My neighbors used to, uh, Butch and Lucy, but those are awesome people, man. Yeah, yeah. But um, they, they used to put the water hose through the window in the bathroom. We used to load up containers of water so we could shower. Wow. Yeah, it was always like that, man. And it was like that throughout... A majority of my junior high career and also into my high school career. So that was just regular for you. Yeah, it, it was yeah. regular to me. You know what I mean? Okay. And I wasn't mad at him or anything. It's just right. it is what it is. It's life. But you probably didn't understand. So that was normal to you. Exactly, it was okay. normal. How bad did it get for you and your family though? I mean, so you mentioned that li you know you lived with no electricity. You know how did how did you end up not being a product of your environment at that point? Because it's, it doesn't sound like you had a lot of direction either. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's not. Um, so my parents would always give me advice. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They'd tell me they'd tell me what not to do, what to do. Yeah. And um, I took upon that. And then I'm not gonna lie, they they did guide me in the right direction. They did. Okay. Okay. You know, and also watching my older brothers. You know what I mean? Uh, they 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 did tell me, hey man, you're messing up. You need to correct got this. Got you. Got you. Even if we did come from poverty like that, man. Um, they're like, hey, man, you one day get a job. You know, and work yourself up, buy mm -hmm. a car. And um, I did exactly that, and I ended up working at Pizza Hut, bought my first car, and I was 16 years old. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? And then um, shout out to Pizza Hut. I fucking love <laughs> in Gatesville, bitch. in Gatesville, yeah. in Gatesville. Oh yeah, <laughs> because Gatesville. you're from McGregor. Exactly. Jesus. Like, oh yeah. Well, Gatesville is a hot. No, it, it is. Yeah. It is. But um, yeah, I've not slept from anybody in McGregor, or in, no, yes, I have. In, in Gatesville. <laughs> Gatesville's far. Yeah, I've been it to is. Gatesville. It's, it's a little time, drive. Yeah. Even from McGregor though, but yeah. it was a short enough drive to where I can make that, and I was working during that time. Oh, okay, I got you. How did it affect your your relationship with your parents, though, if you don't mind me asking? Like, you know, it's got to be hard raising eight kids, and, you know, I'm sure they butted heads a lot. Or did were you guys not involved in that, or how did that work out? Oh, no, yeah, they, uh, we definitely bumped heads, especially I'd always, I always feel like one one of my siblings was getting more than me, you know what I mean? Of course, mm. I lashed out on that. Oh, really? You know what I mean? But Are you it, the middle? Or oh, yeah, I'm the middle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm the middle one, and then... I just felt like I wasn't getting what I needed, but I had to understand during the time they're giving me what I can, what, gotcha. what exactly what they can give me. But, okay. but man, I don't, man, my parents, man, they're hardworking people. Man. I love my, they're good people. It's just, man, I just had a lot of brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had yeah. a lot of siblings. Yeah. Did you, did you notice though, like, so in a small school like McGregor, right? Uh -huh. Because that is a relatively small it town. Is. There's like, what, small. not even a thousand people in that town, right? Yeah. Did, did anybody realize that you guys were going through those kind of struggles? Did anybody reach out to help or anything? Or was that just really normal to you? You guys didn't even talk about it. That that was normal to us. You know what I mean? Even yeah. during that time, even if somebody wanted to reach out, I probably would have been like, I'm good. You okay. know what I mean? Because my pride, during that time, my pride was set so high. Like, yeah. I can be living under a bridge. You'd be like, hey, I want to help you. I'm like, no. You're you good, know, like, yeah. I'm going to do it by myself. I'm the same way, too. It, you know it's what I mean? Like a <laughs> and to story. this day, I'm the same way. Yeah, but yeah. Especially, like, being Mexican, your, your family put that machista mindset into you. Okay. My dad was like, you're a man. You're going to and you're gonna do it. You're going to figure it out, yeah. Yeah, you got to. You know what I mean? And to this day, I still carry that. And I, I'm... I'm kind of glad he gave me that mindset. I got you. You know what I mean? But is that why you're still single though? Because you're hard to deal with? <laughs> Orlando's single, by the way. Yes. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. I mean, maybe I guess maybe I'm just finally starting to get my head right, maybe. Okay. Maybe because man, okay. back then, give me like I was saying two years back, no girl would want to date me. You know what well, I mean? I was just, just a shitty person. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, I do kind of want to touch on two years ago because again, you you slid in my DMs two years ago. You were very yeah. vulnerable. I, yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. a piece of shit nigga, I would have definitely <laughs> took advantage of you. I would have played my games with you and we probably would have slept together. Absolutely. But <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. How did the the circumstances of your life affect you individually? 
So, I mean, you, you know, you, you mentioned that you had that mindset of I got to get it. I have to be independent, blah, blah, blah. But did you, would you say that you were a problem child? Were you lashing out and stuff as well? I mean, you mentioned not getting the amount of attention that you felt like you deserved, right? right? But so did that affect you in your school life? I mean, were you beating niggas up all the time? Were you, you know what I mean? Like getting <laughs> yeah, girls pregnant? I get it. Like, no, yeah. I, I, I get it. Um, I, I definitely had anger problems. I okay. definitely did. You know what I mean? But what it really did to me closed me off to where I wouldn't even talk to my family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was a real closed off person. I was that one dude that you see in that corner over there with the with the lights turned off, just watch TV, being a loner. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You and, were uh, antisocial. Exactly. I, I really was antisocial, and then uh, I just grew out of that. But like, that that that's what. That, that, that whole situation put me to that mindset. I need to be closed off. Yeah. I need to protect myself. Okay. Nobody needs to know what I'm vulnerable about. And okay. Would you say you were a pretty rebellious person then? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. What was the worst thing you did that just made your parents like, oh, no, what the fuck? We already, got, we already don't have lights. Like, what the fuck is your problem? So during that time, I was pretty young. Though. I was pretty young. I was still in okay. high school. You know what I mean? Um, I'd just be out all day. You know, I wasn't doing drugs or, oh, okay. you know what I mean? I wasn't doing so nothing So you didn't get bad. caught up in stuff like that? Absolutely then. not. No. I, I, I knew right from wrong, you know what I mean? So is that never or just, it's, like, taking the wrong path is what I'm asking? I see what you mean. Um, yeah. So it's not, I was just too smart. I guess, I, yeah, of course, I grew up in poverty and everything. I was so right. closed off, but my parents instilled in my mind what was right and what was wrong. Okay, okay, gotcha. So I never really got too deep into doing bad things. You know okay, I mean? got you. Yeah, yeah, they instilled so, that so into my mind. So, regardless of the fact that you came from circumstances in Florida and, you know, whatever, that there was a lot of gangs and drug activity and stuff like that, you never got caught up in that lifestyle. I didn't. I didn't. You did not. Yeah, so we moved to Texas. I was six years old. I was young. Yeah. I just started first grade, I believe. Okay. You know what I mean? But if we would have stayed out there, oh, my God, absolutely. It was, I would have. Done deal. I would have. Head first. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Head first. I would have been top gang member. Yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> really? But, so wait, but did, did anybody in your family ever just kind of take the wrong path? And I mean, did you guys hold your... I, I remember you mentioning just a second ago that your brothers really tried to hold you to a cer certain decorum of accountability, right? And so did you guys all have to do that for each other? Or was it just kind of like dog eat dog world? We're in this to ourselves and whatever you choose to do is what you do. Yeah, it was never a dog eat dog world. I mean, mm -hmm. to them, I'm not a lot to my older siblings. It was okay because they didn't have any guidance. You know what I mean? My Got older, you. my older siblings, they definitely, yeah, they're, they're wild. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, but, for sure. Um, for but sure. yeah, they, they checked me on that before Got I got wild. I got you. You know what I mean? And I applaud them for that. You know what I mean? They're yeah. like, you're messing up. You need to stop. I don't know. See, like we grew up that way, though. You know what I mean? Like my parent, like we were all just fend for yourself. I get it. Absolutely. And now that's my lifestyle, and oh, yeah. it's not convenient for them. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's just that's just the way it is. That's yeah, what you yeah, raised me it. to be like for thirty years. Too bad. You know what I mean? Now parents are divorced. Oh, they are. They, they are, are divorced. divorced. How did that affect you when ooh, they got divorced? Because and how ooh. old were you when they when they split up? I was twelve. You were twelve. 12. Okay, got 12. you. And then um, man, the main reason why they split up was because of money issues. Mm. It definitely was money issues. Fucking money. I'm so tired <laughs> of fucking money. I am. Money just pisses everybody yeah, off. I, I, me too. I, I think I, money's I the root of all evil. It really it is. Really, I money. learned that on the show. <laughs> being an Money truly is. It's I was having anxiety attacks over fucking money. Absolutely. And, and I'm like, I don't, uh, you know, it took my, my friend Marl to uppercut me and be like, you're blessed, bro. You have a fucking roof over your head and a nice ass car. What the fuck you stress about some money? You know, debt and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. But, so they broke up over some money. Yeah, they broke over some money, and then um, I was kind of stuck in the middle of it. Okay. I had to choose sides, you know what I mean? Right, and, right, yeah. And it kind of sucked that it, it had come to that, but um, I eventually, I chose my mom's side. I chose, I was just, ba I was just back and forth with everything, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, eventually, I ended up staying with my dad, though. You did stay. Okay, yeah. so you chose to live with your mother. Yeah. But then moved with your dad. Yeah. Was there a purpose behind that, or? I just see it in there. I see my dad needed more help than he my did. mom did during the time. Okay. Yeah, he definitely needed more help. So I just I'm gonna now. When you say help, do you mean like more in a he's not able to work kind of way, or just like for for mentality reasons, or he, yeah, he's not able to work during that time. Okay. He just he was on disability. Okay, and you were working. Well, you were only 12. yeah. I was young during the time, but yeah. I, I was making money. You know what I mean? Bills were getting paid, and how were you making money at twelve years old? Oh no no oh no no so. Uh, no, no, so yeah. they ended up splitting up, not at 12, sorry about that. It was like no, no. 14, 15. Oh, 14, 14, okay, 14, okay. 15. And gotcha. then, um, so during that time, my dad was making enough money from disability to where he get the bills paid. Yes. And as soon as I hit 15, 16, I started working at Pizza Hut. At Pizza Hut, and okay. I, just remember I bought a first car, and we had a car during the time, too. Right, right. And then, um, 
There's, it's not that he was never broke or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. No. Disability sucks. She get paid like eight hundred. Shout out to the dad because it sounds like he. I mean, sure, he, they yeah. wouldn't have made eight fucking kids, but you know, but it's not. <laughs> there's, there's people who are out there that make eight kids and act like we all owe it to them. Exactly. And it, it sounded to me like your parents had eight kids and we're in survival mode. We got to figure this. Yeah, out. they were. They were. Yeah, you know, we like making children. It's fun, right? <laughs> but, but we got we got to figure this shit out, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I remember going to Caritas. I used to go to the uh, yeah. Salvation Army. Yes, yeah. They give you one of them little tickets. I used to be in there getting the jerseys. You know, oh, I was yeah, trying to sure. fly out that. Sometimes they'd be having the nice shit. Exactly. So to me, that was. I was you, happy. You know what? What puts me and, and I, I relate to you with this because when we were living in New York, um, I don't know if my parents would get mad for me saying this, but we did. we had to get food from the food pantry, Absolutely. like from the church and shit Absolutely. or whatever. And Absolutely. I remember one time my mom crying because I, I'll never fucking forget this, bro. My brother, I have a twin brother I mentioned earlier, which we do. I haven't spoken to him in about a decade. And um, he wanted like Burger King or something. I don't fucking remember. You know? And um, we were supposed to come back with Burger King. But when we got to the food pantry, the food pantry was like out of food. So my mom just had like a fucking breakdown in the car. I'll never forget this shit. And, and I, I, it like stamped in my head, I will never be this way with, with, with respect. Absolutely not. I, absolutely, I never want to be in a position like this. I don't ever want to be in a position yeah. like that either. And I will you know do I mean? anything that I, w- and I remember coming home and I told her, I was like, hey, I understand. I think I had like 60 bucks saved up for like some video game or something. I was like, I'll give you the $60. It's like, you know, no, don't. <laughs> and I remember my brother, like he was always the opposite. Like, where the fuck is my Burger King? You know what I, I mean? Did, and I he did. just didn't get it. And I'll never, mom, if you watch this shit, bro, I will never fucking forget that. Because I, I can't imagine maybe your parents went through the same thing. You know what absolutely, I mean? Absolutely. How the fuck are we feeding our kids today? Because it's their responsibility. Do you know what I mean? It is, it is. And so when, when the parents, you know, kind of get, getting back to this, when the parents break up and you have to decide which route you're going, okay, do you, did it affect one parent more than the other when you chose sides? I mean, like, how did that affect you and your oh, relationship uh, with your parents? I, I know for a fact it, it, was, it, it was affecting them both. Wow, you know okay. I mean? and, and it sucked that I couldn't be with both of them, you know what I mean? But... Differences are differences. You don't want to force something, especially if the chemistry is not there. Yeah. And then for the longest, I used to be like, y'all need to make it work for the kids, man. Mm. The older that I've gotten, don't put your kids through that. You no. know what I mean? Uh, the, the older I've gotten, I actually appreciate them spitting up. You know for what I mean? Because sure. what we're seeing was toxic. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? And mm-hmm. they, they did split up and shout out to that. I mean, I, it sucks to say, but I'm kind of right. glad they split up. It was probably for the best for them. It was, though. Absolutely. It was for the best. Because that, that has to, like induce a lot of stress oh yeah absolutely. like how the fuck like we got to take the both both of them work though right no so my mom was stay on mom my mom is my mom was an immigrant you know what i mean oh okay yeah she works yes. hard okay. let me wrong it's just man especially here in texas man immigrants yeah. look down on so, so bad yeah for sure, you know for I, mean? sure. I hate that she's stuck in that position right but um it, it's gonna get better for her trust me but has has their relationship gotten better because obviously they're probably still divorced absolutely yeah has their relationship gotten better now that you guys are a lot older i mean you seem like you're a little bit more successful you got the nice hot chain on you you know what <laughs> I mean? you know i love a man with a chain you know what i mean they're, they're like roach nigga e but not really like you know what yeah, i mean, I mean like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah their relationship definitely is better they okay I, yeah I, I get home sometimes my mom's there they're cracking jokes with each other when when you were living with dad mm-hmm. were you strained with your relationship from your mother absolutely okay absolutely do you look back at it now have you guys had that conversation we have uh we've nitpicked at it but we've never fully had the conversation but yet again i'm the type of person that my mom she 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 apologized i could see in her eyes she don't necessarily got to tell me that right right but my mom's a good person she can literally just look at me I've forgiven her. You forgive, uh, you know what I mean. But, but it's not like she gave all eight kids to your dad and said, "Here, you figure exactly, it out, bitch." Like, exactly. No, you she, guys she were was, all just kind of separated. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. But like my mom, yeah, she wasn't working, but she was still getting food somewhere. She'd she go to her pantries, she and she was. Yeah. Also, she, she used to sell bread for a while, sweet bread. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but yeah, she, she's she still doing hustler. that because I would love some. <laughs> no no disrespect. I mean, that. like, dead ass. Like, I will go to fucking McGregor and buy some sweet I, bread. I'll ask her. I'll ask, ask her. her. It's been a while since she, she's done it, though. Yes, I'll tell her I'll sleep her. with her son if she does it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, yeah, no. I, don't tell that to her, please, because the fuck. You know, I went to Mexico, and I made a, well, I did sleep with somebody out there, and they fucking think I'm the Wicked Witch of the West. Like, don't do it. Don't, don't make that joke. As a matter of fact, don't, no, they'll cut that out. It's fine. It's cute. <laughs> okay so you know regardless of the circumstances orlando parents are split up you go live with your dad or whatever and you ended up just 
not being a product of your environment. You ended up not rebe- being rebellious. You just kind of got to work. But you mentioned two years ago when you messaged me, you were Ooh, not. I don't even remember. Would I say this? What, would I? But, but, no, yeah, you, you, we didn't even get into it, but I'm about to get into it. Okay. Because you mentioned two years ago that you were just not in the right headspace. Oh, and yeah. I, I wonder Ooh. if, like, if at this point, alcohol and drugs was getting involved. It was. It was. Okay, it, great. It was. Absolutely, it was. So I definitely want to talk more about that, but we're going to take a quick break. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> and when we get job. back, we're going to learn more about Orlando's <laughs> antics, about drugs, alcohol abuse. I'm um, definitely about, no, I, I want to get into the roofing and the construction, how you got into all that, being burned by other businesses, and so much more. Orlando, Jeez. we're about to have some fun. I, it got deep for a minute, but, you know. No, no, we're good. We're no, good. we're good, okay? Yeah, He's going to take another drink, and we'll be right back here on The Public Affairs, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this exciting episode of The Public Affair. My very special guest, Mr. Orlando Salas. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just some more sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. I love my sponsors. Love them, love them, love them. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to Big Bear Lawn Care with Fernando de la Rosa. He's a small landscaping business. Listen, y'all's lawns, I already know the lawns are a hot ass mess because it's hot outside and y'all don't want to go out there and mow them, all right? Call Big Bear Lawn Care with Fernando de la Rosa. He's got you. He specializes in mowing, edging, mulching, and so much more. So when I do his social media ads, sometimes mowing, corrects to moaning <laughs> and i get scared but anyway listen he's not gonna make you moan i don't think listen just call big bear lawn care <laughs> for your small landscaping needs call the number on the screen for a free quote to big bear lawn care thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course the soko soccer academy with dominic gutierrez and ariana gutierrez located at 33 or 4 franklin avenue they offer team small group and individual skills training with elite skills training to make your kids superb star athletes with professionals like George DeLeon. Um, open plays on Mondays and Wednesdays for ages 16 and older, and the Public Affair is also a very proud sponsor of the Soko Soccer teams, coached by my brother, Mauro Maldonado, the GOAT at coaching. If you need your kids coached by somebody who's amazing with discipline and he yells at them, but it's for constructive purposes, call him. Call Soko Soccer Academy. Follow on Instagram and Facebook, Soko Soccer Academy, on Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the Public Affair. Of course, the Blue Star RV Services, my boy Manny Guerrero. He's a mobile RV tech who can fix all RVs. I'm talking about travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, uh, food trucks, and so much more. I was just telling her that because I said he wants to buy an RV. All of them. They're all pieces of shit. Every <laughs> single one of them. They're all pieces of shit. But let me tell you something. If you call Blue Star RV, he will come to you. He knows how to get paid directly through the manufacturer warranty. All I gotta do is pay him a small little service fee. It ain't shit. And he's got you covered. Follow on Facebook or call the number on the screen to Manny Guerrero at Blue Star RV Services. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to my boy Hugo Garcia with G Boss Party Rentals. Hit him up for most all party ones. I'm talking about bounce houses, dunk booths, water slides, and so much more. He even will even rent you out a mechanical bull. So if Orlando wants to see how this this works and what running mechanical bulls, he will get it taken care of for you. Call him for your next for your next thing going on, okay? Call the number on the screen. Follow on Facebook at G-Boss Party Rentals with my boy Hugo Garcia. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, oh, my vice, Jay Petal and Poke with Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and the entire family. They provide delicious, savory Japanese craze and poke bowls. They also have handcrafted Thai rolled ice cream for dessert. You can choose from a menu item or you can just be like me because I like to be in control. So I like to make my own poke bowls and I just be... Putting all my different kind of ingredients in there with all the proteins, all the sauces, and I love it. Oh, it just melts down your throat, and it's so healthy for you. Locations on University Park Drive and Hewitt Drive. You can order online at jpedaltx.com. To J Pedal and Poke, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. I truly appreciate you guys. All right, guys, we're going to get right back into this with my very luscious and hot guest, Mr. Orlando Salas. You know, um, Orlando, you, I said Solis, it's Salas. Solace. There's so many ways to say it. It's solid. It's solid. It's solid. One of my best friends in New York was Amanda Salas. Oh, yeah? I don't know where she's at now, but I, I love her. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah I think there's she's... just so many ways to say it. I don't... Yeah. Yes. Now, you're from McGregor. <laughs> I am. Some of my best side pieces I've came out of McGregor. <laughs> out of the, the, I don't know what it is with you. I don't know if you guys are just, like, not exposed to a lot. I don't know if you have a lot of pent-up energy. Would you agree that you're a pretty good side piece because you're from McGregor? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, I guess I don't know. I've never thought yeah, of it, yeah. but but um, McGregor's hitting under a rock. It you is. Know what I mean, there, there's you you show some something new in McGregor, but it's like whoa. It's just, yeah. Well, it's you guys so do cool. have Luigi's, and Luigi's be going. We do have Luigi's. Well, I've which never been which there. way has Luigi's not too? So don't play. But. Yeah, I've never been there, and I'm You've from never, McGregor. Oh, I've never best Italian. Shout out to Luigi's, the, the best Italian. I bet. I bet. Best it's Italian. No, they're so good. No, but yeah, no McGregor, and that's why I, I'm being funny here. But like, the small town people, they just have a lot of pent up energy with them. You know what I mean? Like they just have, they just want to explore. You know? I, I've heard of that before. Yes. Somebody's actually told me that before, and it, it yeah. does make. Sense. So have you ever just put it down on a girl and she was like, that was the best ever, and it's because you're from McGregor? 
<laughs> I guess I, I've never asked. I yeah. mean, uh, I well, guess you don't, ask, ask. you don't ask afterwards? Yeah, you're supposed to. Every time I get smashed, they ask. They ask. They say, how was that? They do. They ask. You don't ask that? Is that not a thing? I've never, I've never asked that. You never, so you never smashed a guy and said, how was that afterwards? No, not a guy. I've never smashed <laughs> a guy. Okay. okay, no, no, no. So you never, you never put it on a girl with your McGregor piece and you never said, how was that? Like, you've never done that? You kind of just give a high five or something, you know what I mean? Do you give a high five? Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, you kind of just... <laughs> yeah, I had a nigga give me fist bump one time. I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it, there's really no talking. It's either like a high five or a fist bump. You yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah, usually they just... Well, high because... Five, the hand's up and you just... You yeah, know what I mean? Oh, like, like, okay, so she's just like laying there, just... Yeah. Fluids coming out and she's just like, yes, bitch. Like, yeah, and then, yeah, you're asleep and you just... You could just feel an arm there. The, you look over and it's a little. Oh hands. yeah, no, nobody's ever sleep. <laughs> nobody ever falls asleep on my bed. No, get the fuck out of here. Get out, move. No, nobody's ever done that. They do give me fist bump. They, they, but a lot of guys ask me afterwards, like, how was it? Like, I don't know. Like, great. Right? Like, it was good, I guess. Like, I, I, it's awkward to ask that. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why it's it's usually just I prefer with just like a gesture. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So so, so you do just. just you just give them five, like all right. Yeah, good either job, that bitch. or they gave me a five. It just depends. That's you know what so. I mean? <laughs> I'm like imagining that in my head right now. Yeah, you don't talk or nothing. You yeah. Just literally well, it's not like you're just... going in and you're like, hey, how is this? Is, that's it, is what it I'm good saying. For you? No, yeah, a little something. Yeah. No, you just get disrespected for a little bit, and then, <laughs> <laughs> right? And then you give them a fucking five. <laughs> you all over. I mean, yeah, that's 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 how it is with me. That okay. So you give fives afterwards. They usually give them to me, I guess. That's like I mean, really hot to think about. I'm, <laughs> they just, I'm telling you. That is just, so hot You're to think asleep, about. right? And you just look over. It's just a little So you let the girl sleep like, over? You don't have a rule? Uh-uh. I mean... I mean, if you're vibing with a girl, you're vibing with a girl. You know what I mean? Like, Listen, she can, no she dude stay. has ever slept in my house. Sheesh. I have never let a hot... Uh, no, I let one guy sleep over, but we didn't even have sex. I think he just needed a fucking place to sleep, that bitch. <laughs> I do. I, he woke up... We woke up in pajamas. <laughs> And, 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 like, I was like, we weren't going to have sex. I thought you were sleeping over for a purpose, right? When you sleep over a girl's house, it's for a purpose. And you still let him sleep over? He did. He slept over one time. Jeez. This was years ago. Okay. But, yeah, he owes me money because I took him to Vegas. But, yeah, he slept over one time, and we didn't do anything. And I, th- I, th- I thought that's why you slept over. Because that's what we were doing. Yeah. But nobody, other than that, nobody's ever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had guys put it on me, and they just move on. You guys yeah. are disrespectful. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I try not to be at least. I mean, yeah. I, know, I know these other guys, but like I said, you know, there's not a whole conversation after you're done. You just yeah, it's either high five or if it's not high five, you're just like. Oh. So, are you <laughs> down with the conversation afterwards? Or nah. What do you mean? Like when she's like, "So how's your day going?" Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, are you all her? Yeah, I'd be oh, I don't even want to talk. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Down. Yeah, like I'm out. Thank you. Call me tomorrow. <laughs> Call me later if you want. Like I'm out. No, see, like I'm the. I, I'd even. But like, hey, let's go get some food. You know what I mean? I'll be. You know, I'm that type of guy. Oh yeah. You know, it's I mean? nothing like some zebra cakes afterwards. Oh, you got a you got a Sefco. So I'm from McGregor. We didn't have no food right like that. You didn't have you zebra cakes. From oh yeah, no, absolutely. The McGregor General Store did not sell zebra cakes. No, no, no. Sef, you got to go to Sefco because. Uh, okay, so do you get the burritos? No, nah, dude, I get the nachos. <laughs> after some, after some peas. Yeah. And yeah. Nice just little snack. Eat that, and you just sleep. Don't you sleep for like yeah. two days? No, I love getting a nice zebra cake afterwards. <laughs> like, yeah, it's perfect. Zebra cakes are the best post smash snack. Afterwards. I've never thought of that, but um, get some zebra cakes, have them in your house. Now, are you are you in a relationship right now, Orlando, or are we are are you just side piece material right now? <laughs> Sheesh. Um, I, I, it's not that I'm a side piece. I'm I'm not a hoe or anything. No, no, no. You know no, what I mean? No, but yeah. like, um, I mean, uh, you're just having fun. Not even that, man. Oh. I, I guess uh, I, I do talk. I do. I do talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? But like, no comment. I, I don't want to rush nothing like that. Oh, so I we'll got see you. See how it goes. So right now you're just like kind of in talking stages. Yeah, I'm. I'm just coasting it. You know Why what I mean? Why don't you get her some zebra cakes? <laughs> <laughs> and then go ahead and put it on her real quick, and then let me know how that goes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is she from McGregor? No comment. It's just, I'm a very private person. Uh, okay, that, when it comes no, to that. Yeah, yeah. So, so what I've noticed, man, the more people that are in your relationship, the more yes. it goes down. Uh, true. You know what I mean? True. It's like mm-hmm. I say, it's not that I'm out there hoeing or anything like that. But no, like, no, no. I'm just, I'm just. I just wanted to get to know Orlando when he was single, the hoe, wasn't talking to anybody. Oh, no, no, no. If you want to know the Orlando that was yeah. single, like let's say two years back, oh, yeah. I was a hoe. So when you messaged me two years ago, you were a hoe. Oh, I was a hoe. I'm not going to lie. Fuck, can Absolutely. we please talk about that? So what, did I stand the chance? 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you wouldn't have given it up to be on the show? Nah, guys. No, nah, uh, nah, I was, <laughs> I was gonna beg a few hundred off or something. You know what I mean? But I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me wonder what people would do to be on the. But first of all, I think that's an honor that, pe- <laughs> that people are willing to pay me yeah, to be on the yeah, show. Yeah. Right? Um, no, okay, no, I do, I, I'm glad that you said that because it, all that led to two years ago. Absolutely, okay. but, um. So two years ago, you were in a different mindset. Ooh, I'll, Okay, I'll so, see. so you mentioned, we mentioned right before the break that there was maybe some drugs, alcoholism involved. It was. Being a hoe. You messaged me in 2021 and said that you wanted to come on the show, and just by judging at the message, I knew. <laughs> no, I did, I knew no, right away. Awesome, I was awesome, I do, I, I've done this because I, when I was on the radio, it was the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah definitely. I, and so, um. I just knew, I was like, this guy is not, <laughs> he's just not. And shout out to Tino Salas, who is your cousin. Yeah, uh, yes, because we met Tino. at a mine in GameStop when I was getting the Nintendo Switch OLED. And um, he mentioned that you were his cousin. And yeah. he said, you should have my cousin on the show. And I didn't have the nerve to tell him because it was around that time. <laughs> I didn't have the nerve to tell him, no, your cousin's on some shit, bro. Like, if he's trying to smash, I'm down to smash. But, like, he cannot, <laughs> he cannot come on the show. Like, I just know he's yeah, just yeah, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Talk to me about two years ago. What was going on in your Ooh, life when man. you messaged me? How bad were things for you? What 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 just pulled the rug underneath your feet? So two years ago, that's whenever I first started doing my business. Okay. And man, starting a business is the most stressful thing in the world. Mm-hmm. And during that time, I actually started Status Construction with negative four thousand eight hundred dollars. Mm. You see what I mean? Because somebody didn't pay me for a job that I did. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? And yeah. I scrambled up the, whatever money I had, man, and um, I started an LLC and I started Status Construction. Yeah. But during that time, man, I was I was closed off. I didn't talk to nobody. I only cared about me. I was selfish. I didn't. Right. Like you can literally explain. You can literally be crying in front of me, and I'll just laugh at you and just walk wow. away. Wow. I was literally that closed off. You, you were know just what I mean? like a selfish bitch. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah. I, I was. I was just grinding. Money, 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 mm-hmm. money. That's mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say. Money can be dangerous. Sure. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, man. Because as of now, don't get me wrong, I'm starting to take time for myself. I've been going on vacations lately. I've been looking out for myself now yes. instead of putting money in priority. And, man, one thing I can true, man, the whole little experience that I've had, man, uh, there's beauty in the struggle. Mm. It's crazy it sounds to say mm-hmm. that. Because whenever you're struggling, man, that, that shit builds character, man. It, well, it humbles you. Well, it, it does humbles people, you. It puts people different. Exactly. Because exactly. it either makes you a victim or it humbles exactly, you. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And it humbled me, man. It yeah. really did. I was like, man, we're all broke. What am I going to do? Am I just going to... Lock myself away, or am I right. gonna boss up and do something that I need to do? Right. And then, um, like I was saying, man, that was the last step. This guy, we did a job in Goldthway, and then uh, we we did two roofs, Oof. and the guy fucked me out of four hundred eight, uh, four thousand eight hundred dollars. Wow. And man, I remember I broke down that night. You know what I mean? When you say he fucked you out of four, th- did he say he was gonna pay you this and never yeah. did? Yeah. So he uh-huh. looked he looked at me straight in my eyes. He was like, hey, man, I'm gonna pay you tomorrow. Uh, okay. And I was like, all right, man, that's fine, that's fine. I appreciate. I shook his hand, went home. He ends up writing me two hot checks. Wow. And they both bounced. Oh and during that time, God. I had to pay my guys. Like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I ended up taking out a loan. Uh, I took out a loan just so I could pay my guys off. Right. You know what I mean? And man, it's just that that was the last job. That's what started. Did, so is shop. that what? Well, I was going to say, did that situation kind of throw you over the deep end? Like, who? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you mentioned that you started just like resorting to all these other things I which do. i really want to get into because no no <laughs> uh, i do absolutely like, I'm, no, I get it. I get i'm not it. being I get gay it. because while i've never i have never you i've never even smoked a cigarette a day in my life i mean everybody knows i'd be drinking i'd be drunk as fuck on the yeah, show you yeah, know what i mean I but but i've i have personally witnessed people that i've loved and cared about use and abuse drugs where it affected me i was assaulted you know what i mean and so i i wonder how bad it got for you was it that particular moment where it was just like okay Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. During that time, as soon as that happened, I was like, fuck life. Like, I'm mm. just done. You know what I mean? I was yeah. like, man, this is all I got. And then that same night, that's when I prayed to God. And I, I, that was the lowest point of my life. Right. And then when I prayed to God, I was like, man, if you get me out of it, you get me out of it. If not, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it's, for it's sure. your plan. And then, um, now I remember I was so broke, man. One of my workers bought me a three dollar beer. I was that bro. Wow. And then he was like, "Man, look, man, I know you're going through it." Mm-hmm. And during that time, my worker didn't work for like a month. He was yeah. just he was thugging it out with me. Right, right. He's like, hey, "Man, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better." And he bought yeah. me a three dollar beer, man. And I was like, "Man, that's awesome, man." I, I I teared up. I was like, "Man, I appreciate that." I know. You know what I mean? I've well, because you can't bottom. even afford a three dollar beer. No, like, I've been at. Know? I've been at the bottom, but like I was saying, that goes back to what you were saying. I would mm-hmm. never return to that. No, for sure. Ever. What kind of drugs were you were you using to cope with it? 
drank and of course marijuana. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I, I was I was doing coke. Don't get me wrong, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I was like, to me, being drunk was the only way out. Mm -hmm. So I'm like too drunk to even drink. So I, I ain't gonna lie to the bump. Here yeah. we go again. Buy another twelve pack. Yeah. And then um during that time, like I was saying, that was a real dark time for me, man. And to anybody that experienced that time of me during that time, mm -hmm. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I was. I was a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I really? really was. I so really you were was. just lashing out at everybody. Though. Everybody. Were you were you taking advantage of people? Were you all just... the above? Wow. All the above. All I'm not even gonna lie. All the above. I've done. I, I've been a shitty person in my life. Right. Even before that, though, I was a shitty. But person. But those things make you a shitty person. Though. Exactly. Yeah. That's, it what, does. That, that's what people don't get. Absolutely. I, like again, <laughs> one of my. Well, I don't fuck with that nigga no more. But <laughs> the guy who I was best friends with back in the day that ruined our friendship. Do you know what I mean? Like, it really did. And oh, people yeah. don't realize how... People I know use cocaine recreationally yeah, and they yeah, want to party and shit like that. But for you, you were using it as like... I, I was doing it every day. Like, it's something that I kept to myself, but... Right. And it, it definitely... So nobody knew you were using it until just now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm not wow. like, yeah, but, yeah. but like, I, I grew out of it, though. You know what I mean? You did, okay. okay. I'm done with that, man. Uh, I, I drank... I love to drink. You know what I mean? Bitch, okay? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I, I'll fuck with some mimosas all day. And yeah. these white claws are just... These black cherry white claws are hitting it. Yeah. I, I mean, I love seltzers. I'm not lie. I yeah. should have got those, but... No, I should... Yeah, pour you, some. you can have... Well, you know, my lips touch it, but you can have some if you want some. You can just... Wa what do they call water faller? You can have water a water... Water Yeah. Now, this one's full. Let me see. I'm like right here. I'm like, no, okay. But 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 you're trying. Okay, so here's the thing, Orlando, right? You're trying to run a business. You're trying to start a business. You're trying to start the roofing business. And listen, I've had um, contractors, construction workers sponsor this show. I, I know the shit and the stick that y'all get. I know that there's a lot of things that go on, you know, miss understandings conceptions you know i know you guys don't like to fuck with contracts <laughs> even like contractors <laughs> but yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. Um, but 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 you know things happen and for you you were just like i'm don't trust anybody anymore blah 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 you know what i mean did, did the drug abuse and the alcoholism affect you and your family at all oh yeah yeah man yeah that, that relationship was strained for the longest it was really? to the point where i didn't even feel comfortable talking to my family mm. you know what i mean i didn't want to tell them my problems Cause like, what's the point of that? You know what I mean? Right, I was right. just so closed off. Mm. You know what I mean? And man, the reason why I got so closed off, man, is because I try to rush something that I shouldn't have rushed. Starting a business, man. Mm. All this started because I wanted to start a business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And man, that's the most stressful thing. For anybody that does it, I applaud them. Yeah, for sure. But starting a business it's is the most hard. stressful shit in the world, man. It's you'll hard. lose relationships over that. Yeah. Man, like you break, you burn bridges, and mm -hmm. then um, I. I burned a lot of bridges. Really, really. I'm not even gonna lie. With, which people that really cared about me, right, right. People that loved me. You know what I mean? It's just I was stuck in that mindset. Yeah. And Is there? Do you think there's room for redemption though? Like now that you're being more vulnerable, like do you think that you can go to them and say, "Hey, look, I was in a different mind." Like, again, two years ago, I don't think. Two years ago, I would have just tried to fuck you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I fuck niggas like that. You know what I mean? That I know that I could take advantage of it. You know what I mean? But uh, and I know that's like inappropriate to some people. I'm being funny, and so. In in a serious aspect, though, do you think that you have room for redemption to go to go to those people and say, "Look, I know I fucked up. I know that I was not in the right mindset. I was on drugs. I was drinking. This was this was more than I thought I could handle." Do you think that you can do that? I'd hope so. I guess I don't have a certain answer for that. Okay. I mean, I'd hope so. You know what I mean? We I can, think you can. You know what I mean? And and, and, and if and if I can fix that by all means, you know yes. what I mean? I'm not asking. For the relationship to return to what it was. No, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I was a piece of shit. Like, yeah, looking yeah. back, I wouldn't even want to be around myself. You know right. what I mean? But, um, and like I was saying, man, I feel sorry for the people that did have to witness that. Because I was, man, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to put myself into words. That's how bad I was. What was the worst that you did to somebody that burned the bridges? I guess, uh, just not caring. Just yeah. not, man. They're breaking down in front of me and I just laugh. Uh, okay. You know so just I mean? basically being heartless. I mean, I mean yeah, just basically yeah. being hard. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do nothing too bad. Like, like you didn't whoop nobody ass. No, like, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I used to get in fights all the time at bars, but no, yeah. it was never somebody that. I'm not going out with you then. Like, <laughs> no, 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 I'm chilling. I can't I'm, stand going I'm out with somebody. Now. They want to get in a fucking fight. Like I'd be yeah, like, bitch, that's what uh, happens uh, in soccer. I'm like, I'm not going to the fucking games because <laughs> all y'all bitches want to do is fight. I almost had my first fight. I almost had to whoop a nigga ass over my best yeah, friend. I'm like, fuck this. I'm not doing this. But nowadays, I'm so chill, man. I'm so chill. That's okay. Yeah, that, that's that's past. That aggression's gone, man. It's just mm -hmm. I'm 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 trying to live. More. You know, and I know what I can say in terms of advice because I'm just a tad older than you. I think that you you should reach out to those people via message, whatever the case is, and at least 
in the process of forgiving yourself because that's where it starts, right? And say, look, I acknowledge a few years ago that I may have treated you different. It, it really, it really, no, it does. It goes a long way more than people think. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. absolutely. It, it, it goes a long way more than people think. And you should really just reach out to them and say, I know that I was a big fuck up. I know that I treated you different. I know that I was insensitive to what you were going through at the time, but I was in this headspace and I just want you to know that I am sorry. You don't have to forgive me, but I feel like in my heart, I have to tell you. At least the apology. Apology. I, you have to. I, I, no, absolutely. You absolutely. have to. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. I, I do that all the time. I'd be like, I'm sorry that I don't know why you're not talking to me, but <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. You I, mean, no, I mean, I mean, mm. I mean, I definitely probably would do that. You know what I mean? No, 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 don't. Probably. I'm giving you some fucking <laughs> advice. I'm older than you. I'm smarter than you. If you live to be 150, I'll be smarter than you in one finger. Okay? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm maybe. I'm I'll, 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 I don't you, doubt it. I know it. I that I'm it. just a little bit lit, but I always give good advice. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And shout out absolutely. to my brothers. They be uppercutting me when I be on that bullshit. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been given that advice. No, you ever, have to. You, you know have, at but, um, the because at the very least, you can say, I reached out. I extended an apology. Yeah, yeah, move on. You know what I mean? Because then, because then, if you just live the rest of your life and you don't, they're gonna be like, "Well, that fuck that nigga. He still don't give a fuck." That, that's what they're gonna say. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I'm no, just, I, 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 yeah. I know that's what they're gonna say. I'm just, but let me tell you something. I'm just the type of person that has to release. I get it. Like I just have to. We need to have a conversation. And if you're not willing to have a conversation with me, then I don't even want to fucking entertain it. Like then, I get it. I but get at it. the very least, I'm gonna tell you. Like even when I piss off my friends, I will text them. I hate texting, but I just know that they love texting. I will text them and say, I am sorry that I did this, that, and the other to you. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it, yeah. it won't hurt to do it. It won't hurt to do it. Or no, you're just absolutely it. right. You're a businessman now. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you're in yeah. a different space. Absolutely. And man. you're still hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are hot. I can call you hot. Like, that's not gay. Uh, no, it's not. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate the compliment. No, no. <laughs> Just to the, the girl you're talking to. You know, just <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, okay, but no, but people don't realize that though. Like starting a business, you, you're a roofer now, you have your own business with Salas Construction and Roofing, right? You have a team of people that work for you. And while people think, oh, he's just money bags, he's got it all together now, people don't really see how it affects you in the background. Absolutely, Is that correct? absolutely. Like I was saying though, um, man, I'm, I'm just a way different person. Yeah. It's just, man, I, I still applaud you for not putting me on whenever mm. I asked you two, two years ago. I would I wouldn't I even know what I would have done. You probably would have got me kicked out. No. 30 seconds sitting on this couch. No. Listen, <laughs> I hate to say this, but I really try to be a good judge of character, right? Mm. And I... Listen, three years, we can say this. I've had people on the show that I know they've pulled wool over our eyes. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and I now it. when I see it, I know because I know the true of them. You know what I mean? But with you, I think I caught on to that. You were one of the few that I caught on to that real quick. And I was like, I'm going to sit on this guy for a, for a few years. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be a couple years, but no, I'm, no, no, I'm going to no. sit on him for it, a minute. It probably did. Yeah. It, it probably did take that long. You it know did. I'm, I'm, I'm hard-headed. Yeah. I'm so hard that you got to bash information to my head. So I'm like, finally. But you're but right. you know, but you know, Orlando, then I started really, because at the time, all I ever saw you posting at the time was like drama and shit. So I was like, this nigga is just not like, he, <laughs> he's not no business, man. He just wants to come on my show and talk that shit, which I'm for. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But, but. Now, all of it is your roof and you're getting jobs. I mean, I yeah, commend you with where you are. Like, listen, I take into consideration, especially getting to know you now on this episode, and we're running out of time. Oh, I hate it. But um, you've been through a, a shit ton of circumstances that were just negative and that you were supposed to fail in life, you know, statistically. You know absolutely, what I mean? Absolutely. And, and now you have just really just turned everything around and you really have just done so good for yourself. And I'm so proud when I see, oh, I just got these jobs in these towns and I'm going to this fucking city that's far as fuck away and I'm about to do these jobs with my team. And, you know, I, I'm just really proud of you. And that's why I was like, okay, now is the time. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I forgot what you looked like. And so when I was doing my little notes or whatever, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, he's hot. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, no, no. But, but good for you, though. At what point did you realize, real quick, at what point did you realize that I have got to get out of this dark space and I've got to start doing better and I'm going to turn everything around. And how did you do so? This was like eight months ago. It was literally, wow, it was so really we're recent. That. Okay. Absolutely. It really was. And then I just seen the impact I was making on people. Okay. You know what I mean? It was to the point where they're like, I don't even want to associate myself with you. 
it was literally that bad. And then, right. man, you just got to get in your own head. You know what I mean? I'm not going to I've gone to therapy. I really have. You oh, know you I mean? have? I've gone to therapy. Oh, okay. Absolutely, man. And somebody on the outside looking in is going to tell you a lot more about yourself yeah. than yourself. You so know what I mean? it's been beneficial for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Just, okay. Just, they had to beat that knowledge in my head, and it sucks. I'm so yeah. hard at it, but I understand it. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. They were mm-hmm. right the whole time. Yeah. That's that's so that's that's so nice that you say that. You know, a lot of Latinos we grow up and we're not supposed to. We're well, machistas. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you you know got that. I I will say <laughs> I, I've been that way. And let me let me just share this. I had Eric Archiga on this show, mm-hmm. who was a barber. Shout out to your barber too, Eric the barber. Oh, Eric, Eric Benitez. Yeah, yeah, Eric yeah, Benitez. He, Shout out yeah, to him. He, he, he got me lined me. up good. He got yeah, me he, he got good. you looking snackish over there. I would <laughs> sit on your lap if we didn't have cameras on. But <laughs> but no no no. I will. I, I just want to share this because you talked about that. I had Eric Archiga on this show, who is a barber. And okay. the day before, and I shared this on the episode, I got annihilated. I, I mean, annihilated at Echo in Waco. Right here in, in Waco. Like, oh. it's up the street, okay? And I shared it on the show that, you know, the staff really took care of me. And Mauro, my fr- my Leslie, my friends, they came and they rescued me. And I remember them calling me. And my other friend, Jaime, my best friend. And I remember them calling me, like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, why did you get that drunk? at that restaurant to the part where you blacked out. <laughs> like what do you know how dangerous that is? Like they were getting on to me. Right. And I have to admit that it had a lot to do with just this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, get it. I, get I, it. I, I feel like even when we were out to drink, you were like, Oh, you have the biggest show in Waco. Right. And blah, blah, yeah. blah. And everybody says that to me, but I always, in my mind, I, I feel like what am I, what can I do? That's better. And I think at that point it got the best of me. And, Shout out to my friends. Shout out to Etchon Waco again that really just came and saved me because things could have been different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I did. I, I let it get to best of me, and I, I just drank it all away. I drank it all away, and I was so mad at myself for that. Absolutely. And, and Mauro, and the, he uppercutted me, and, and Leslie came and saved the day and coordinated with Jaime. Just shout out to you guys. It, it, it got, I, I understand. And you just don't realize that. You can't rush God's plan, man. Nah. Don't wrong. You just can't rush it. Yeah. I was... For years, I was trying to rush this plan mm-hmm. and literally cutting people off, being the most selfless person. But trying yeah. to rush something, it, it's it's it can be bad as well. It's shitty, for yeah, sure. Man, don't just let it do its thing. Let just go do its thing. Do its thing, man, and yeah. just coast with it. But now you're a successful entrepreneur and business <laughs> owner, right? I am. I am. All I am. the girls are in the DMs. I'm sure. <laughs> How many guys have stood in your DMs? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it just, I don't swing that way. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. You're but, not but, uh, gay. But, uh, I'm just uh, asking. Uh, a, a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and like I was saying, <laughs> I have nothing against that. You know what I mean? I no, say, yeah. hey, you look how I'm like, thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, for the record, I've never done that. I've never done that. I did it on camera. <laughs> no, right. I've never messaged you and no, said no, that, no, right? No, no, yeah, no. I've never. I've never. Yes. You have it. I have different tactics on how to get in your pants, but. <laughs> no, 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 no! I get it, I get it, I but get no, it. because now you, now you are. Listen, Salas can. Oh my God, Salas roofing, right? Whatever you want to call no, it. No, 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 correct me, correct me. No, no, I have. I mean, written. so, 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 yes. the, it's really Salas construction roofing and roofing, correct? But the DBA, I can also do business under Salas roofing. So there's no one okay, way. Okay, so, so Salas construction it. roofing. Would you say it's doing better now? Oh yeah, absolutely. You guys, you guys are blessed. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you have a team of people that work for you absolutely. now. Absolutely. Okay, so you guys have a solid. You do. Do you think you have a solid team of people working for you? I do. And can I, I work for you part time because I am looking for part time endeavors, and so uh, I could be your your assistant. I can be your secretary. All right, yeah, yeah. Just if now you got to be on the roof. I don't know how you feel about that. Bitch, I can get on the roof. Don't play with me. <laughs> See, people be thinking I'm a bitch ass man, right? But I really will do some manual labor. I laid turf at Soka Soccer Academy. Oh, there you yeah, go, bitch. There you okay, go. in the sun. That shit was. I mean. People really think no, no, no. I'm being for real. People think that I'm a bitch, which I am a bitch. But like, but like, I really can do some manual labor. I really am. I'm. I've come from work. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. I People get it. don't think that about me, and I understand why. You know what I mean? I because get it. I, because yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. cute. You know what I mean? I'm gorgeous. But I will get dirty and get my fingernails. Whenever you wanna, like. whenever you wanna try out the roof, let me know. I'll, I will. I'll I got you. Well, any of your people come with this? Like, do you think they need some, some attention from me? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess yeah, I gotta. I why gotta, don't you ask? Gotta, them. I'm asking. Ask as soon as I get, I'm gonna ask them. Like, like they've always wanted to be with guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them that I'm available. <laughs> I would love a nice. Do they speak English? Ooh, that's hard. Like 25 percent, maybe. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. I want a nigga that don't speak no English because that means he can't talk to nobody. I'm not Spanish. Okay. Right, so that's all yeah. talk. That's so dile, talk. dile que soy soltero. Okay. Right? And uh, estoy buscando por un nombre. Okay. 
para cocinar, hacer lonche, todo eso. Right? Yeah, bitch. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to put you. I'm gonna see what I can do. Put, put me on, right? I, we, we, I, I just want a man that wants construction worker fingernails, dirty as fuck, comes home, doesn't have social media, and just oh, wants yeah, to. Oh, yeah, that's my whole entire yeah. crew. Yeah, oh, okay. Just wants that's to. All, that's all two crews. Perfect. Ooh, I can't <laughs> wait to meet your crew. Just wants me to make them dinner, lunch, and just ravage me at night and then go to I'm bed. I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna see what I can do. Yeah, let's I'm do it. Right. <laughs> so, so Salas uh, Construction and Roofing is taking off. Um, how can we reach you? Orlando, and, and what serv- services do you offer besides getting your man? Um, <laughs> we do roofing, we do remodel. I'm not allowed. The best way to reach me is my cell phone. We have an office number. Yeah, you know what I mean. But the cell phone is just a lot quicker. Oh yeah, and, and you can you can plug it in if you'd like to. You're on the show. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if anybody needs roofing or anything done, it's two five four six three three zero one nine eight, and that's my personal number. You know what I mean? Just I don't have access to the company one. I really don't. You know what I mean? It's your company. You need I, mean, to I, I, it is, it is, no, I I get it. I get it. I get it. But um, it yeah. just it's just a lot quicker if, if, if that weighs the way of communication. I got you. I got you. So we can text you. Don't be sliding his DMs now. He gave you the personal number. Don't be sliding in this nigga's DMs, please. <laughs> He's gonna get mad at me talking about delete the show. All right. <laughs> now, would you say you're in a better place now? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Like it's it's actually it, it gets emotional talking about how far yeah. I've come. Cause I was a piece of shit. I yeah. was man. I man. imagine cocaine does some shitty things. <laughs> no, it does. I, I've witnessed it. Witnessed All the it alcoholism man. too, man. And just man. It makes you a monster. Like it, I I, say, I'm not yeah. lying. It makes you a fucking monster. If anybody needs help, man, definitely reach out to me. Mm-hmm. You know, if they want to start a business, I started with negative four grand. Yeah. If I was able to do it, anybody can do it. And if I gotta, I'll give anybody advice when it comes to that. You That's know good. I mean? Yeah, I'm here to help, man. I'm here to help. I love it, Orlando. And he's cute to look at, too, if you need the help. Now, Orlando, what can you leave us with before we go? Is there any shout-outs? Is there any words of advice that you want to give to my listeners? Or anything I missed out on? Or? Uh, I mean, I guess uh, if anybody's struggling, man, just find the good in that. Find the good in that. It's going to build you up. It's going to build that mm-hmm. ambition in you. It's going to make you want to succeed. It's, that's how I started, was through struggling. Like I said, there's a lot of people, I don't want to struggle, I don't want to do this. Yes, struggle, but find the good in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to build that ambition that you need, right. and you're going to succeed. You know what I mean? And remind them that it's not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. easy. It's not it's easy. Not. It's not. It's We're still not easy to this day. Yeah. But I mean, it's gotten easier, don't get me wrong, right, but sure. it's not easier, You've man. It's lot. not easy, but anybody that needs advice, man, just reach out to me. I'm here to help. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Nobody helped me, yeah. but I'm willing to help out. I would yes. love to help out. Yes. Absolutely. Orlando, thank you so much for coming on to this Absolutely. episode of The Public Affair. I'm so happy that we finally got to meet, Absolutely. have you on the show. The timing was just perfect. I'm so <laughs> proud of you and your business Appreciate endeavors. It. And if you ever need something from The Public Affair, we're always here for you. Absolutely. And I, I won't sleep with you, but <laughs> if any of your, you know. <laughs> I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see what yeah, I can do. Tell them what's up. I'm going to see what I can do. I am do. single. I got you. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> so everybody that's in this episode, thank you guys again so much to Orlando Salas. Thank you for coming on to this episode Appreciate of The Public Affair. Here. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. You're Absolutely. scrumptious over there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, before we go, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Brothers Roofing and Remodeling, my boy Jesus Sanchez, all the way from Mark, Texas. He's a small construction business from Mark, specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. Protect your home from the crazy elements of the weather, right? Th- this weather is crazy. Be fucking up our roofs. They're fucking up our homes. And Brothers Roofing and Remodeling will get you taken care of with high quality and affordable work. Follow on Facebook and call them on the screen to Brothers Roofing and Remodeling. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Boyle Box and Audio with my boy Jeffrey Monreal. For all your help, he's your home for all your LED needs, auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and so much more. Now, Jeffrey put that 5% tint in my car. Oh, so you good, man. Oh, oh yeah. It's not a fishbowl no more. No, either. no. So now nobody can see what's going on. Inside, right? <laughs> <laughs> now he's about to put starlights in my car. He's like, it's a new car. You know, some people might see, but I, I did pick my head up from the passenger side the other day, and somebody said they didn't see that. So, uh, you know, listen, yeah, Boyle Box and Audio is here for all your And for the record, there's rumor going around that me and Jeffrey Monero slept with each other, and we have not. But if he wanted to sleep with me, he could. Okay, so <laughs> shout out to Jeffrey Monero. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Junior Banda with my boy, Fat Boy Micheladas and Botana, who provides the best Michelada and Botana plates for yourself or a part of me with a menu of a ton of different items. Talking about Botana bowls, chamois, pickles, and more locally operated. So make sure you get the best and not the rest. Follow on Facebook and Instagram at Fat Boy Michelada y Botana and place your order now. To my boy, Junior Banda, thank you so much for being the long 
for being just a hardcore sponsor and supporter of the public affair. I truly appreciate you, bro. And I can't, oh, I'm slurring my words. Fuck it. <laughs> we, we good, we good, we good. And of course, to my girl, Ana Limones, for Hummingbird Party backdrops and decor. I got to see her work firsthand. Absolutely gorgeous. Call for all party decor, including beautiful balloon props, giving an extra flair to your party or event, and make it stand out so everybody knows that you got something going on. She also has a number of wooden backdrops and so much more as well. Call the number on the screen to Hummingbird Party backdrops and decor. My girl, Ana Limones, thank you so much for all your support of the public affair. I truly appreciate you. Go, that was better, right? Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> so my boy, Orlando Salas, thank you yes, so sir. much for coming on to the yes, show. Did you enjoy your experience? Absolutely. It was a You vibe. did? Okay, yeah, good. Did. Now, if any of your people want to slide in my DMs, just I got you. I and got if you, you slide in my DMs too, I'll promise I will keep it between us. <laughs> 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 you guys, thank you again so much for watching this episode of the public affair. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys again so much for all the love and support. I've got more coming on the way, but don't forget to always keep it between us. <laughs>